This is hydrogen tap. Just turned the engine over on the Honda and we're ready to go to the gas station. And you can see we're at, oh gee, I guess 15 amps right now. And my trusty light, green light is on. I'm going to look at the gas gauge. If I can get it. Uh, it's actually sitting half. And we're looking at 145 miles. I'll get another view of this once we uh, get to the gas station. The reason I'm forcing this right now is because I want to get the focus out of the system, take it apart so we can take a look at it. It's an interesting uh, site. Sold out. All right, well, uh, the great sign. Kind of scary. This is a scary look. Holy moly. Twenty three dollars for five gallons. That's uh, kind of makes you sick to the stomach. Okay, there's my mileage there. 145.7 miles on this tank. And you can read the uh, odometer. 117216. And uh, let's gallons five point nine three zero. And there's the uh, well twenty three thirty six. That is sick. Well, if you've been paying attention, you'll note that the mileage went down to went down on this run because the seal was loose. I lost all that hydrogen. That's the bad news. The good news is, you know, I'm honest, and it's very frustrating when you're putting things together. And I'm back. Where else are you going to see the actual results of an experiment like this? But at hydrogen tap. I just got through taking this out of the Honda and I am beat. So if I sound tired, I am tired. We're going to do a, a uh, we're going to completely tear this apart and see how the insides look. Right now it's still filled with the Electrolyte, you can see everything's intact. As you saw from the last uh, few minutes, the seal was loose and I lost all the hydrogen. I got an interesting email that said that should have made any difference, but actually it did because. This has to go to the bubbler, and if there's no pressure in it, there's nothing coming out the bubbler, nothing coming out the bubbler, there's no hydrogen. And uh, the mileage definitely showed that. The good news is that the mileage showed that it went back to the original mileage, which showed that the 30 miles per gallon was really... 30 miles per gallon and not what the car actually was getting. So I'm going to take this apart and we'll take a look.
Interesting, huh? Where else are you going to see the actual stuff the way it really is and not somebody's imagination? Hey, uh, actually the color of the water isn't quite as bad as I thought it would be. And this is the plates, straight out. And they don't look bad at all. Actually, they got a real thin coating on it. You can see. I mean, that's it. That's the extent of the coating. But if you look real close, what's really interesting. Is, see this plate here? This is the electrode plate. See how shiny that is? And look down here. And we have another plate, electrode plate. That could be just the edge, but I don't think so. And if you look over here, the same thing. You can look in here. Now this plate here, yep, that's the electrode plate. The white ones are the electrode plate. So what it is, one of these was negative and one of these was positive. And that's why one of the plates has this, either negative or positive, has this one on it, and the other has this. And the others are neutral.